This movie tells a story about a woman who travels to desolate island town and soon becomes trapped in a nightmare. First of all, this movie has generic script that blends elements we've seen before. The story plays out exactly as you expect. This movie is a well-trodden ground especially in horror movies. As with most generic setups in the genre, it can be a good territory for a novel idea or a filmmaker with a good sense for horror. Unfortunately, that's not the case here. The filmmakers seem most interested in aesthetics as the movie excels at flashy camera tricks and building a good atmosphere. It's been shot with more style than generic scripts are usually treated with. But the technical aspect can't quite disguise the utter predictability of the story which borrows plenty of ideas from other films but doesn't seem to have much of an idea of what made them work in the first place. The filmmakers have neither the good idea nor the chops to turn this into effective scary movie. The scares are either ineffective or non-existent. The writing and direction do very little to tie everything together and invest audiences in its story. The film never quite takes off. It's an idea that just never finds its groove or flower as a horror story. As a tone piece, the movie delivers an eerie horror film that wants nothing more than to attract viewers with its mystery. The mystery is all that holds the movie together. Unfortunately, the mystery itself is flat and uninvolving. The movie actually has an extremely promising first act as it tries to build very good atmosphere for its nerve-wracking survival horror theme. It's too bad that it ends up settling for more generically spooky shenanigans. The script offers widely over familiar, ultimately unpersuasive supernatural horror narrative. What is on the surface is bare and stretched thin, ultimately pushing the audience away from feeling the same terror as the characters in exchange for confusion. The script's emotional core of Marie understanding her mother's relationship with the island is washed away with the tropes. Despite some attempts to explore Marie's relationship with her deceased mother, the movie struggles to find the heart of its subject matter and ends up with a mystery that winds up less enrapturing than the atmosphere itself. The camera work and editing manage to build tension quite well. The problem is that when things come to a head and the movie has to break tension with a scare, it gives in to some bad aesthetic choices. For example, there's a scene where the filmmakers decide to do it in slow motion. It's baffling choice as it's deflating all tension rather than releasing it. Jump scares are included every now and then in clumsy fashion as well. The actors generally give some good performances. Unfortunately, there's very little beneath the surface worth exploring. At only 83 minutes, this bare-bones horror tale still mostly drags. The huge problem coming from its dramatically inert narrative exacerbated by plenty of pacing problems. Overall, we do not recommend this movie at all.